Thanks, buddy. Hey, Charlotte Reed here. Welcome to the ranch. Or maybe this actually, this video is probably going to go on the Empower Healers uh, YouTube channel. But uh, if you want videos from the ranch, check out the Reed Ranch channel. I am about to go swimming with the kids. We're going to go play in the water because sitting here in the shade on the porch, it is almost 90. I There's a nice breeze blowing through here though, so it feels really great. I'm just soaking it up. It's awesome. And while I was thinking about the heat, it reminded me of peppermint oil. And I want to share with you the ways I use peppermint oil. Where to go? Oh, it's over here. So uh, I just wrote a blog post, and this video will live uh, at the blog post. So check out the link below this video, because I haven't got it up there yet. And uh, I don't know what link it'll be. But check out the, the link below this video to see the actual blog post with all of the ways that I use uh, peppermint essential oil, plus the scientific backing behind some of the stories that I'm about to share with you. So uh, peppermint, we know, is cooling. It's invigorating. I love peppermint oil. And this is kind of crazy, too, because actually I'm on my last bottle. And there's, like, seriously, like one drop left. I'm sure there's some other bottles in the house somewhere. If I rummage around, I can probably find some. It's not like I'm totally out. But uh, my my uh, the FedEx guy should be coming any day now. No, any not any day, any hour now. Sorry. And uh, he should be bringing me my free bottles of peppermint. I've ordered peppermint and the new Hawaiian sandalwood again. And uh, oh, I ordered some bergamot too. I'm just really excited for all the free oils that I'm going to be getting in. Um, it was like $200 worth this order for my free ones. Free ones. That's all free. All I had to do was pay shipping. Woo! -hoo. So anyway, back to peppermint. If you get it in your eyes, wait three minutes. It'll go away. I've got my list here, so I don't forget anything. So hang on, because I got I've got my notes written down. Uh, let's see. So uh, in the in the blog, you'll see that we use peppermint oil for hot flashes, fevers, uh, to clear sinuses, allergies, stay awake while driving. I love the peppermint beadlets for that. Uh, in school, when you're studying for a test, help you remember things and stay alert. Um, a friend of mine just shared yesterday how she helped a co-worker uh, clear up an upset stomach. Uh, he put a drop in the glass because she didn't have the digestive blend, so um, she used peppermint oil. Great thinking. Um, if you have high blood pressure or if you are nursing or lactating, please use caution when using peppermint oil. So I'm going to kill you, probably, but uh, it, um, it will increase blood pressure and uh, slow down the milk supply. Okay, I love um, peppermint in in a diffuser with wild orange and melaleuca, not together, sorry, wild orange in one, frankincense, melaleuca, um, sometimes with uh, any of the other blends, it's really great in the diffuser. It just gives this clean, fresh, crisp smell in the room. Remember too that peppermint is a driver. It goes on top when you're laying or layering a bunch of essential oils on the body, usually on the feet or the back, when you're layering, peppermint is going to go on last as the driver because it's going to push all the other essential oils into the body so it gets there deeper, more completely, and faster, too. Okay, uh, d peppermint essential oil is uh, antiviral, antibacterial, analgesic, antiseptic, and antispasmodic. Uh, the, in the book Modern Essentials uh, that we have with our enrollment kits, and if you want one, I'll tell you how to get one. Just see the link at the bottom of this. Um, bottom of this video. Anyway, it has all of the list of the scientific backing behind peppermint. And I did not know, it's what I just learned, I just found out that peppermint itself is more effective than chlorhexidine, which is a dental prescription mouthwash. It's like potent, like, it's almost like toxic. It's so bad. Um, I got that prescribed to me once. You can come out, hon. It's okay. She's behind the door, the glass door. Anyway, um, more effective than chlorhexidine, which I've had and it's gross. And I had it once because the, de the dentist prescribed it. And I think I used it once and I'm like, ooh, toxic. I'm not using that again. That's disgusting, gross. And so instead, I started using the um, protecting blend, which has some cinnamon and clove um, and, and uh, eucalyptus and rosemary in it. But I didn't know that just plain peppermint would work too and be more effective than that toxic mouthwash I was previously using. So just a mouthwash of peppermint is awesome, which reminds me of my daily morning routine of we'll a few drops of lemon and a drop of peppermint in a in a little glass of water, and uh, I uh, swish with that and uh, shoot it back. Okay, the kids have their life jackets on right now, and they're pulling each other around. This is kind of funny. We're about to go float in the pond and the ditch, and uh, they totally have their swimwear on. That's funny. That's funny right there. Okay, so uh, it also pre peppermint also prevents biofilm and plaque. You can't see it until you back up. That's funny, Fred. Back up here and you can be in the video. Yeah. It inhibits staph, E. coli, salmonella, and heliobacter. 
uh, Heliobacter pylori, which some people who have IBS and uh, irritable bowel, what is the other thing I'm thinking of? Um, heartburn, that kind of stuff. That's the, the stuff that goes along with that, guys. Mother. It reduces gastrointestinal pain. Yes, life jacket, goggles, we're going swimming. Have fun. Um, it's a it's viricidal against herpes 1 and 2. Well, come here, right? And it's 83% of mice fed peppermint oil um, with their x-rays and when they had radiation treatments, they lived versus 100% of the mice in the same situation without peppermint oil, they all died. Uh, peppermint oil reduces IBS symptoms. Uh, human trials with peppermint oil it enhanced memory and alertness. And it, peppermint oil decreases the pain and symptoms with indigestion. So, peppermint essential oil. Now, to stay cool in the heat, here's how you use it. No popsicle yet, because we're about to go get in the water. Okay, take a drop of peppermint, which mine probably won't come out, so I'm actually going to have to hit it on my hand. Ooh, there's some. Yeah, cool. Okay. And you can just smell it. You can rub it on the back of your neck, on your temples, on your forehead, uh, collarbones, uh, feet, uh, diluted for young and small children and babies, as in the back sometimes too, or in a spray bottle, and you can just mist it. And that fit mist is so wonderful. In fact, after we've been out in the sun, I'm going to come back and mist, uh, mist us with lavender and peppermint in a spray bottle with water, and that feels so amazing and so cooling and soothing after we've been out in the sun playing. So peppermint, invigorating awesomeness. Go try your peppermint today, whether you eat it, smell it, rub it, try it in water, rub a little bit on the back of your neck or your feet, uh, try it in your diffuser. Just enjoy peppermint because it is truly magnificent. So uh, go ahead and use peppermint essential oil. Enjoy it. Love you from the ranch. See you on the next video and the next tip of the day for oil use. This is Charlotte Reed saying love you. Bye-bye.